Welcome to Pemberley Farm. Well, this evening, I'm out in the zipper pea patch. And I don't know how well you can see. I'm going to try to move slow so I don't make you sick. How these peas are just hanging. Look at that. They are just hanging. They are amazing peas. We love zipper peas. And I'll tell you why. For one thing, they're very easy to grow once you get them to germinate. Now, sometimes in years past, we've had germination problems. Not just me, but the zipper pea seed crop in general had um, germination problems. And even this year, they did not, the first planting did not come up quite as well as I had hoped. But once they did, they have outdone themselves. So we are really pleased with this. This is a fair size bed. I apologize if I'm making you dizzy. I'm trying not to. Usually Ashley does the camera work. Well, not all of it, but she does a lot of it. Would you see that? But they're easy to grow. And one of the other things is that bugs don't bother them as much as they do like black-eyed peas. I have a real problem with ants and other critters getting into the black-eyed peas and just stinging them really bad. And zippers don't seem to have quite so much of an issue with that. Plus, they're easy to shell. I'm going to show you. Next, I'll show you uh, shelling the zippers and show you the thick, um, the outside of it is real thick. And I, maybe that's why they don't have so much trouble uh, with bugs because the outside of the pea is, is really thick, much thicker than a black-eyed pea. So, anyway... The next thing you'll see, we'll be inside and we'll be shelling some and talking about them. But now, we're going to pick, we're about to pick them, and this will be the third picking. I mean, this is, this isn't, you know, this isn't just the first crop. This would be the third picking, and you see there's still, oh, so many peas on here. And Kelly this morning came through and got a five-gallon bucket just picking the biggest ones he found just real quick because we had so much other stuff to do today, we couldn't get them done this morning. And there'll be at least two more five-gallon buckets, if not three. <coughs> Hush, Gideon. <coughs> My guard is here. <coughs> He's going to look out for me. Anyway, be back in a minute inside. All right, so we're inside now, and it's much cooler in here. And we've got some of our peas shelled out. And I wanted to talk to you a little bit uh, more about zipper peas. I told you that um, I believe uh, when we were outside that the the holes on the zipper peas are thick. And I think probably that's why ants and other bugs don't bother them quite as bad as they do on something like black-eyed peas. <clears throat> and until this year, I'd never grown any uh, pink-eye purple holes. And I didn't know that theirs were kind of thick, too, thicker than black-eyed peas. I didn't do that on purpose, but the seed I had that I bought as um, zippers had several other different pea seeds in them. And uh, zipper peas are treated with a, they have a pink coating on them. And so I didn't, you know, when I planted it, they all had the pink coating. And I had like five different kinds of peas in my zipper pea patch. But the majority of them were zipper peas. So that's okay. Zipper peas or a fatter pea, and when they're fat, they have kind of like a knuckle. I, I saw it described as a knuckle. The, and I've got them in different stages here. See, these are these are too dry. But now I will tell you, see these are a little drier too. I like to pick them kind of green. And see how I just did that and it came, and so I'm going to 
and the peas just not a problem they just come right out zipper peas are easy to grow and they're easy to shell these have been in the refrigerator till I could get to making the video so normally they would not be even this hard to shell but they're not hard but anyway um, just tear off the end and open it up and then sometimes you have a bad one and that's just lay that off to the side see this one's even a little bit lighter and the peas inside it are going to be bigger so I pick them at different stages I don't like to let them get um, real yellow now when you buy peas zipper peas like um, we bought some from the market they have a, a frozen already blanched and frozen uh, thing that you can get from one of our local markets and generally that's really a great thing but the peas that they sell the zipper peas that they sell have a lot of dry ones in it like these and when you cook them they look yellowish in in your in your peas instead of green these are a a white cream pea zippers are a cream pea and they're kin to the um, you know they're, they're all they're all southern peas and actually the Crowder peas and things like that they're not actually even peas they're considered a bean but anyway for us here in the south they're peas now English peas are a whole different subject that we won't even get into but anyway so these are zipper peas and we really like them because like I said they're easy to grow they're easy to shell um, the bugs don't like them so much now I'm gonna shell these over here because I don't mix them the, the dry ones I don't mix them see how fat they are and then sometimes you get a little one and you know I don't have any little ones that I, I kept to show you but sometimes you get a little one and I snap it I mean you see I snap that one so this one's good to go over here with these guys so they're all different sizes of pea and we like peas we like English peas too but we really like our southern peas so if you've never tried zippers before zipper they're called zipper cream pea uh, I would encourage you to check them out you, there are a number of places that you can um, order the seed and I would just Google zipper cream pea is what I would do and that way I believe Southern Exposure Seed Exchange carries them I'm not hundred percent but you could check on there but uh, just check them out and see if you can find some and just uh, plant you a few and see how you like them and one last good thing about uh, southern peas and these zipper peas and all southern peas is they like the heat so this really hot weather that we've been having is not a problem for them they like the heat as opposed to English peas who do not so anyway give them a try let me know what you think if you give them a try and grow them next year and always thank you for watching at Pemberley Farm make sure if you have not subscribed to us to please do so and check us out on Facebook we are Pemberley Farm on Facebook and Instagram so I hope you have a very blessed day and God bless you from Pemberley Farm <music>